folks, Joseph A. Sabora here. I'm finally back to doing a recorded video on my channel, this time a Blu-ray review. Because during the week I had to do some more commercial breaks just to keep the channel going. Not to mention I had to do some important errands to take care of. And of course I did want to see a movie too, but I'll deal with that later. But I'm very excited that after waiting the entire summer, because back in June, I got the TV series that aired on Nickelodeon you know, back in the 80s and early 90s, which is Grimm's Fairy Tale Classics. And this is season one, as I showed you in my previous video which I just show you the cover art you know with this royal elegant cover art that looks like a storybook designed this way that's in brownish and you can see the castle and all this gold uh, lines around and even <laughs> the word Grimm's Fairy Tale Classics and the ribbon that says season one on there and then you look at the back and have all these screenshots of all the episodes that are included so that way no one can get confused and you can even see the princess on the spines for the slip cover yeah does the same right here as well <laughs> of course having to open this up on this blu-ray case <laughs> yeah <laughs> And I also explain about the picture quality, which looks close to perfection as we know it. It's so crisp, with crystal clear audio all together on all 24 episodes for both English and Japanese. Well, actually an English dub is just 18, you know, which have those episodes like Snow White, Cinderella, Puss in Boots and even the Fog Prince were extended. Well, the rest are just standalone, just like 21 minutes or 22 even, you know, for that matter. So it's a wonderful set to pick up. I had to pay 44.60 for that because it was the only way to go and it was worth it. Um, I guess one thing I did forgot to mention here, although I did mention it, but I guess I didn't mentioned it specifically was the only thing they they didn't get right was was the title sequence of Puss in Boots uh, having it all centered using the SF uh, Forche font and they were using it throughout the entire season so that's probably what they could have done but that's okay but it's nice that all the episodes are well improved they fix everything the way it's supposed to be nothing's missing unlike the, the streaming that they put out on Amazon Prime which by the way it's also on Retro Crush it's a streaming service for anime shows and movies I, I just signed up recently too and they got season one so far but they're ready to update to put season two and yeah we're gonna get to that now <laughs> well, it's a bilingual blu-ray set for discotheque and Eastern Star and they did a tremendous job putting it all together to relive everyone's childhoods for those who've seen the show back in the day. So now, after waiting the entire summer, because it just came out uh, last week on August 31st, and I had to get it right away before it finally arrived on a Sunday, because I actually had to order it on a Friday and then it finally shipped really fast on this Labor Day weekend but now I got season two of Grimm's Fairy Tale Classics very similar to the cover art and now I can finally complete the entire series the way it was meant to be both in English and Japanese and it's all have 23 episodes on each of them See, it looks exactly as similar as that, right over there. But this time it has a blue coloring, more elegant than ever. Um, you can see the castle, 
and you can barely see it because of the light, the brightness here or darkness. Um, this has all the uh, the gold linings and utter, utter elegance stuff that they put into it that just makes it more stunning. Because it's kind of like all these other you know books that you have, often get. You know they go in different colors. You know sometimes it can be brown, it could be green, it could be red, it could be blue. <laughs> so they went for that style. Uh, here's the spine on both sides. It just shows the the bird from one of the episodes. And on the back, you can see screenshots right here, and it even has all the information to explain. And I'm going to say it right now. It says more Grimm's masterpieces, grimmier but even more entertaining. This second season of Grimm's Fairy Tales features more classics like Beauty and the Beast, um, also known as the story of the summer garden and the winter garden or the winter rose uh, Rapunzel and Rumpelstiltskin and of course more obscure stories such as the magic heart and the cold of many colors however this season also abounds with witches demons and even death himself in fact a full 10 episodes out of 23 were deemed too mature for a perceived North American audience of children, but are available here for the first time ever. I'm going to explain that. So enjoy the laughs of The Marriage of Mrs. Fox, The Brave Little Tailor, my favorite, and The Wind and the Bear, By Daylight, and try watching The Crystal Ball, that's brand new at this point, The Old Woman in the Woods, that's another favorite of mine from this series, and The Godfather of Death at night with the lights out if you dare <laughs> trying to become more humorous here the second season collection includes all 23 episodes in standard definition with the original japanese language and english subtitles all includes yeah it also includes the original english dub and yeah you can see the screenshots of all these episodes you can see once again um, this one's from Rapunzel uh, that one was the spirit in the bottle. Uh, this one is uh, the six swans. Uh, the other one is the four skillful brothers. Uh, the other one's the magic hearts. The next one, I think that was. Uh, I don't remember what this one. Uh, well, the way they do these screenshots. <laughs> but I think that was from another episode. It could be from. One of the other episodes, uh, and I think this one's from the Man of Iron. Uh, that one's from another episode or two. So, and there, there's also the Hare and the Hedgehog, and all these other ones. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, the Marvel Skill Skin. Okay, <laughs> I'm doing my best, folks. Okay, so yes, the video is one by thirty free, four by free, four eighty i standard definition. The audio is Japanese Dolby Digital 2.0 dual model, English Dolby Digital 2.0 dual model, and subtitles are English, Signs, and Songs. So, 23 episodes on one disc of each, for 480 minutes unrated, so, all which are done by the Pone Animation Limited uh, from Japan, but it was dubbed by Savant Entertainment. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm going to show you exactly, this time it comes in a much different uh, Blu-ray case. Um, yep, the same as it is, just, just see the, the lines, this is all 23 episodes of Standard Definition, SD on BD, yeah, spine right here, <laughs> and all. Open it up. Got this cover art, the disc art of several of these episodes here. Uh, you got uh, Mother Holly, got the uh, Water Nixie, the Wolf and the Fox, and the Cold in Many Colors, the Faithful Watchmen, and even Marriage of Mrs. Fox. So, all right here. Yeah. There you go. Okay. And I'm definitely going to explain after watching this set 
because boy this is going to be fun <laughs> it really is no matter how long this video is uh, here we go uh, now finally having to wait this long I never thought they'd be able to do this but I'm glad they did because the discotech team did a tremendous job you know trying hard and long to find those pneumatic tapes to put everything together because some of them did not exist as they claim so it might have been directly from those DVDs that they found overseas it's a possibility that's where they got them but half of those episodes that they found I guess they just need to be more specific on this one but I think all the other episodes that they found they were lucky enough to capture them as soon as possible because they claim to be as bootleg masters as they said and some of the quality of those masters that they found were they look okay but it you know just average but unfortunately because it it's sort of uh, deteriorating at this point on they decided they're just going to try to remaster the audio and they'll just try to use the Japanese video source from the DVDs that they put out which they're going to put on to this disc so they can match it and they can try to do their best to do all the editing exactly like how Saban had done it and they had to do it by scratch so they probably had done this frame by frame through the computers and all this other technology that they had to do to make it look better so that, that's what they did. Uh, because there's a special feature uh, at the end of the disc where they, um, for the English dub version that is, uh, where they t talk about how they, they did all the editing and how did they try to go frame by frame to get those shots better and try to edit it carefully. And not only that, but they also had to change the title sequences of those episodes uh, using a different font. And they also had to use the intro and outro as you're all familiar with um, which was on the first season um, the first two season the first two episodes of season two sorry I keep repeating myself um, such as the crystal ball uh, which was not seen in North America so now we finally get to see it for the first time in English stuff as well as the marriage of Mrs. Fox uh, which I know it had aired but it but they probably didn't re-air it later on, but you never know. Um, uh, both of them still contain the, um, the end credits uh, from Season 1. And they still have um, the sf 4 che font that they use for those titles. But the following episode, which will be Beauty and the Beast, uh, will be the first time they'll ever use a different font for the title sequences and it continued to go on throughout the entire season until it finally ended yeah because this is the final season by the way there's no third season that follows it and also to note that in Japan uh, this kind of sets up as a spin-off to the first season or the first series as they claim because it was called Grimm's Masterpiece Theater but if it was all but in this one it was called Shin's uh, Grimm's uh, fairy, fairy Tale Theater, if that was that was pronounced here. So that so it kind of sets it up as sort of a a spin-off to where it all last left off. But they wanted to put it together as both seasons for <laughs> for North American and and several countries around. <laughs> okay. Anyway. So the episodes that are included on the set, so I'm going to say it already because I had to look this up through the episode guide. Uh, the Crystal Ball, which did not air on Nickelodeon uh, due to the mature content that they had. But it was great to see this for the first time in English dub because I never had seen this before other than just the Japanese version or, or I think it was from a different language that was on YouTube. So this was surprising. Um, you got The Marriage of Mrs. Fox, um, which is the episode where you have the, the husband who has nine tails and, and apparently he's starting to feel jealous because now he's listening to this devil fox, basically the devil version of himself, 
or as he claimed in the twist ending. So, unfortunately, he got jealous, mostly to finding out that Mrs. Fox, you know, his wife, is cheating on someone. But most of the time, she's just going shopping, getting some foods and everything. And this is what leads to a bigger problem, which when he decided to pull a prank on them, thinking that he, that he's dead, and and now um, already uh, she's she's moaning, and then this maid cat is is trying to find some more uh, followers to see if she'll he'll take his place and all, and then I know that's how it led to what's going on. It's sort of like a sitcom material. This is like something that the Jeffersons would have done, if you think about it. So, wasn't my cup of tea for that episode, but hey, it's cool to see it. Uh, Beauty and the Beast, um, which was also known as the story of the Summer Garden and the Winter Garden. Yeah, this is where, yeah, quite different from all the other uh, adaptations, especially the Disney version. I mean, this is where we have Maria, who's living with two sisters and and her father. I mean, their father just wanted to grab a, a gift for Maria, which is a rose, but then suddenly he met this creature, which it happens to be the beast, uh, somewhere in a castle where one is snowing, yeah, it was a winter time, and the other is, is just sunny, all blooming, and made a promise that um, for eight days, He's going to come over and be able to take Maria away, as a promise, as long as nothing goes wrong. And that's how it went. Uh, the next was the Magic Hearts, yeah, which is known as the Cabbage Donkey, or Donkey Cabbages. Um, yeah, we have a, a hunter who is just about to hunt some boar until suddenly he wants to meeting the the witch and uh, her daughter, yeah, her daughter, and they were just, um, they were just about to, you know, have him stay around and keep him more comfortable and all, only discovered that, because he does have a, a black cloak and all, so he can disappear or, or even go someplace around, only to discover that he's being tricked you know, by both of them, so at that point on he wants to in the desert uh, with her, but then she disappeared because she stole the black cloak from, from him. And now he wants to find him, you know, two cabbages. You have one is green, which that will make him into a donkey, and then, then the other one is white, and that's where it transforms him back to normal. So this is a trick against uh, those two, <laughs> and you know how the story goes. Uh, Rapunzel, <laughs> yeah, the story where yeah, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. <laughs> so that way they have to climb up by using her long, long hair to climb all the way up to the castle. <laughs> Great story. The Old Woman in the Woods. Uh, now, this episode, because I had this on my bootleg uh, DVD along with the, the rest of these episodes, which had one of the worst qualities I've ever seen, I am so amazed that the transfer just looks so much better. And I mean, it really did too. Because the picture quality itself was was like bouncing back and forth. Uh, it started to deteriorate really bad. It was too bright. Um, I couldn't even see any details on the characters. and It started to look very fuzzy. And what's even worse, the audio is wobbled. Yeah, it keeps bouncing back and forth, back and forth, and it was horrible. But what a relief when I finally saw the episode the way it should be, and the best quality ever. Even if you had to see it in two versions, you know, English and Japanese. <laughs> they had to do a lot of editing for that. <laughs> uh, then you got The Faithful Watchmen. <laughs> Very funny episode, the one where... Um, this one um, poor farmer who was trying to take care of his family, trying to grab all of the food, but he was hoping he'll be able to earn more money by this miser 
you know, who's unfortunately, you know, totally mean, and, and he's just, he actually refuses, so of course, this miser wants to meeting this one bat, actually harming him, and, and at this point on, you know, he's, he made a promise to this farmer that he's going to watch over him for three nights if he passed away, which, of course, he did, and then later we meet the soldier who was hiding inside the cemetery while he was just trying to spend his entire night you know, trying to look out of his uh, grave before the devil appears. You know, great episode. Uh, the Wolf and the Fox. I think I'm just going to go along with just the titles that's included, so let, let's keep right to it. Uh, yeah, we got The Wolf and the Fox, um, Mother Holly, the Six Swans, uh, the Code of Many Colors, Brother and Sister, the Four Skillful Brothers, the Spirit in the Bottle. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that one, but that's okay. Uh, but if you saw, if you read the original uh, version, I mean, that's exactly at least the story got it right at this point. But I know they they could do it differently. About how this one boy who found this this bottle that has a spirit inside. Yeah, creature and just gives him a magic the cloth that turns everything into silver so he'll be able to earn more money this way enough to for him to actually get some education and all but but his father who's the woodcutter didn't want that because you know he's, he is a joy the good life but even though he's not exactly as young as he used to be and, and what's worse with all that work he's been doing I mean he's gonna be falling ill yeah, we got the Iron Stove, uh, Bearskin. It's also known as the Men Who Wore the Bearskin. Yeah, a soldier who unfortunately meets this one stranger who promised him to actually spend the entire life, you know, without um, anything. So, of course, he's going to he's gonna end up, um, you know, staying as dirty and He's gonna grow a beard and all, and he's gonna wear the bear skin all of his life. Uh, you got the hare and the hedgehog, the man of iron, the brave little tailor, uh, the wind and the bear, rumple still skin, the wilder nixie, and the the godfather of death, or at this rate, godfather death. <laughs> Out of the ten episodes, um, six episodes. Um, did air it on Nickelodeon in North America, but it's claiming that it never got re-aired at this point, so I think that was the case. Well, the four episodes, uh, which is the Crystal Ball, along with the Water Nixie, uh, the Godfather Death, and even the Iron Stove, they never did air it on Nickelodeon at all. Yeah, I mean... And it's hard to believe because we were totally wrong, especially yours truly. That all this time, I never thought that Saban would actually do their English dub versions of those episodes, but it actually, they did, they just never aired them. Because if they didn't do the English dub versions for those episodes, then I guarantee you, though, they're probably going to add some new actors to take their place because... The voice actors for the English dub versions, you know, they were pretty young at the time. They were only in their 30s at the most, or possibly 20, 30, whatever. But um, but now they're already in their 60s and 70s, and even uh, some of the voice actors have passed away. Even ones that have passed away recently. So, so I know for the fact they couldn't do that. Thank goodness that they took the guts to finally found those, because if it wasn't for that, then we'd be stuck with just um, half of the episodes uh, available. So, they took the risk. So, all the episodes are included, um, all done by the same voice actors, um, both English and Japanese. I'm not going to explain t too many of them, because uh, that will take too much of my time. And I'm glad that the episodes themselves look incredible, uh, very stunning, just like the first season was. 
with no problems, no errors, nothing missing through each uh, frame of, of an episode, especially if it starts at the beginning or at the end, or missing something that that just came out way too late because, you know, people had taped this from an old uh, VCR, recorded from all these old VHS tapes and been copied many times. I'm just happy that the quality remains this way, even though it's in standard format and not high definition. And the fact that you can fit all of that in one disc. Yeah. That's perfect. <laughs> so now I can finally watch the TV series from beginning to the end. And I, I do wish that maybe they could have had tried to have the last episode go to the other side and have another episode take its place so it would have ended perfectly. Because it just seemed like it kind of ended uh, pretty dark. Yeah, like... I, I almost felt like, you know, they kind of ended abruptly, too. <laughs> but I gotta say, uh, the second season was, compared to the first season, this one was the darkest one of them all. They had, like, several dark episodes, you know, all the way through. Well, the rest of the ep other episodes were either comedies or, or any other kind, like dramas and, and stuff. And it's perfect took all the risks so yes um, gonna go back to it again the first season was in Japan was known as Grimm's Masterpiece Theater and the second one was called New Grimm's Masterpiece Theater yeah there you go and I also want to get back to that special feature which is uh, the bonus the edits that they were doing yeah, I, I love how they were just joking around to this one producer who was doing this. Um, like, he started to show, like, frame by frame to see um, how they had to do a lot of editing, too. Yes, with because there are certain scenes in the episodes that have nudity in there, too. Yes, they did contain nudity. Um, then they contain all these uh, graphic contents. You know, all the blood that's been shown. Some of the blood that's shown that, like, for example, like if, like, the one scene in, in the episode, the, the Golden Goose, where this, where one of the brothers started to chop up some wood, and all of a sudden, the piece of the axe uh, broke off and hits his arm, and blood started to spatter. Yeah, they had to uh, cut that out. And, um... Other graphic natures uh, between all these other episodes. Um, yes, and they even claimed that the Naughty Spirit episode did air on Nickelodeon, but I guess they they somehow got banned all of a sudden. So I, I knew they were wrong about that it never aired in North America. So. And then they also mentioned the one episode uh, from the first season uh, called. Um, the water of life and yeah they even show a scene where where Joseph yeah me <laughs> no but a different Joseph uh, actually got stabbed and they even show the screenshot that even has the Nick Jr. logo <laughs> on the left hand corner I thought wow that was pretty hilarious <laughs> and for this magical set alone for both of them uh, one thing they did forgot because both of them did have their own commercial bumpers and they have their different uh, end themes and all. But for the English dub versions, um, the one thing they forgot to add was the uh, commercial bumper where it just shows like just just a clip of the, the intro for Grimm's Fairy Tale Classics and they had uh, a different theme to it which is basically just the um, an average uh, version of the Grimm's Fairy Tale Classics theme. And they're just showing like clips, snippets of it, of, of the girl who's the mascot of the series, you know, flying around in the forest and even flying all the way up and then also landed uh, three times on the, the, the mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, if you know what I'm talking about. 
Um, and I know Saban has been known for doing their own commercial bumpers, you know, just getting ready for a commercial break, and then, then when they're ready for the show to be back on, that's when they show the second half. So <laughs> they should have uh, resorted that on the, the Blu-ray release, but I, I guess they just didn't do their research. And I think the Disco Tech Media team that's joined with uh, Easter Star because they're part of it to finally put all of them back together on two discs of two seasons alone and if they ever put both of them together on one package so it could be the complete series this will be the perfect time so, I of course I got this for 4510 it's available on Amazon you can pick it up you can also get it on the right stuff for a lot less. I think they still have it at $32 or maybe a little more. I don't know. Um, maybe the prices have changed a bit too. But you can find it over there as well. You can find it at several places. Um, I'm just not so sure if they have it in stores around because I can't seem to find it anywhere at the moment. But it was the perfect place to get Season 2 as opposed to Season 1. And if you also want to watch the TV series um, on streaming, uh, go to Retro Crush. You can find the entire season. Well, so far they only have the first season, but hopefully, because they did say more episodes to be updated, and I know they will be but, uh, pretty soon. When the second season comes, um, Hopefully you'll be able to check it out for yourself. But if you really want to own this on a physical media, exactly how it should be with with the Japanese version joining in and, and maybe a few extras to put together, then pick this up because owning both of these sets alone is perfect. It, it just fits so well. And now you get to watch it anytime you like. And also because you want to support physical media as they should be. <laughs> yeah, right there. Okay. So, that's uh, Grimm's Fairy Tale Classic Season 2 Blu ray review that I did. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.